Okay, so for this program, we'll just um, use the Richter scale to calculate the magnitude of an earthquake. Uh, so it'll be really simple though. Uh, we'll start by, we, it, we imported the scanner package here, and then we're going to create an object for user input. So scanner in equals new scanner system dot in. Okay, so after that, we want to prompt the user We'll do system.outprint, enter a magnitude on the Richter scale. So this could be like uh, 1.5 or 4.5, something like that. And we'll store that in the variable Richter. And this should be a double because it can have percentage places. So in.next. Next double. Okay. Um, let's see. So now we're just going to print the appropriate um, message depending on the score. So if the Richter is greater than or equal to eight, oops, 8.0, then system dot out print line. Um, we'll just say tons of damage. Okay, the most, that's the, you know, the highest amount you can have. So then we'll do else if Richter is greater than or equal to 7.0. Okay, then we can do system.out.println uh, lots of damage so a little bit less than eight or above but still a lot and I can actually copy and paste um, these ones let's just do yeah so three of those I'll change this to six and this to five and we'll just do um, what's less than lots of uh, tons lots um, much damage such damage and we'll do some damage okay and then else system dot out print on no real damage yes So let's go ahead and run that and see how it looks. Enter a magnitude. Let's do 5.3. Some damage. Okay, so it's greater than or equal to 5, but it's not above 6. So we're just going to see some damage. How about we run this again? I'll enter 7.2. Lots of damage. Okay, so it's greater than 7. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. And you could try all these scenarios, but they should all work fine. Uh, 8.8. 8. Wow, tons of damage. Okay. It's good to test these boundary scenarios, so just to make sure that uh, all your code's working. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward, so I think it looks good.